All right, we're gonna be doing fascia release on the VMO. So now what we're gonna be looking at here is this part of your quad muscle, and we're also gonna be kind of working into the adductor. We blanket this as saying just the VMO, so this quad holds into this kneecap, and then again, we're gonna be working more into the adductor a little bit as well. This is a big problem area, especially with people who have patella tendonitis, so it's a good idea to be working this comment or all the time. I find most people have a lot of pain. So what we're gonna do is drop the hip down, we're gonna open up, we're gonna find the first part. So we're gonna be more like a little bit of an angle on the VMO. You wanna kinda of roll around if I feel like I do here, I'm gonna now bring the foot to the butt and then I'm gonna straighten the leg back out. I wanna make sure I have firm pressure. In here, back in and out, back in and out. And you wanna hit about 10 of those. Then I'm gonna open up flat, so now I'm really more towards that adductor, and I'm gonna search for more. So usually you'll find it right away. Again, this is a really painful area for most people, and I'm gonna do the exact same process. I'm gonna dig into the spot, and all I'm gonna do is work in and out in flexion extension of the knee, and it's just gonna basically be a slow movement. I like to tell you to do 10 and 10, or 10 however many times, like if I move it and I feel a new spot, I'm gonna hit 10 of those again. And basically I keep repeating that process from the VMO into the adductor region. And you can see how much pressure I put because you can see the indentations on my skin. And I'll just do flexion extension of the knee for 10 reps and then I'll move it and 10 reps and move it and I'll keep doing that for a couple minutes.